Well, good morning. Welcome to Get Real with Rick Dancer. And today we are sponsored by Chris Dental, um, your family dentist clinic in Eugene. I called up Michael and said, Michael, I got a story I would like to do. What do you think? And he said, let's go for it. So you guys, we are at Along Came Trudy, a longtime businesswoman in Eugene. And uh, she has opened up. Despite the governor's mandate that says um, restaurants are not to seat people inside, and it's getting a lot of flack. She's getting a lot of support and a lot of flack at the same time. So we thought we'd come over and let her explain what it is that she's doing. And so this is Trudy. Hi, Hi. Trudy. Hi. How are you doing, Rick? So you, I know you've been thinking about this, and you were wondering whether you were going to do it, and kind of what, what, how did this all come about? Well, you know, I mean, I certainly want to keep people safe, and uh, it's important to me that we are doing all the things in the guidelines. We've got a huge event space that we are um, spreading people out. We've got our sanitizers. We've got uh, all the stuff that we're supposed to have, and quite honestly, we have to open. I mean, we have no other choice. Because if we don't, we're going to be closing for good. And I just feel like we are so important to this community. I mean, we have greeters here. We have Rotary. We have, uh, we just started a farmer's market here. And uh, we're successful. We do more than just put food in your belly. We literally take care of people and love on them, pray with them, encourage them. But you're taking a lot of heat for this. I mean, you had, I heard you had some people calling up this morning and telling you thanks for killing our family and things like that. You know, Rick, there's always going to be the naysayer and somebody that's going to uh, belittle you for trying to feed your family and keep your employees alive. Um, I can't help that, you know. I mean, we're doing everything we're supposed to. We have box stores you know, within walking distance. We've got Walmart, we've got Jerry's, we've got Winco, all of them. And, you know, we're as safe or safer than they are by a long ways. And I, I just feel like it's so unfair to target the small businesses. And I just feel like it's worth standing up for. And I know that there are other small businesses that feel the same way. And it's going to take more than just me. I don't have Walmart's long uh, line of attorneys behind them. You know, I'm just a little cafe owner that's trying to stay alive and what do you take care of my eight employees. So what do you think people forget when they get judgmental about this and say, you know, what I, what I was asking people too, hey, if you're getting a paycheck, um, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta back off a little bit because not small businesses, they don't, we don't get a paycheck and it doesn't come signed in the mail. You got to work for it. Absolutely. I mean, restaurants are, are kind of a unique thing. Most people, it is really hard to make money in a restaurant. Most people do it because they love people. I know that's why I do it. And we live paycheck to paycheck. And we're just trying to do a service. You know, we don't want to have nothing but huge box commercial um, restaurants. This is unique here. I mean, we are, are we take all of our customers in like they're our family. So the OLCC came in and took your liquor license. Mm -hmm. And um, can you get that back at some point? Well, I hope so. I mean, I'm not going to serve any alcohol. But I absolutely need my liquor license. And I t totally believe that it's, it's an intimidation type tactic where you are going to take my liquor license, find me every day, make me sub submissive, really. And, you know, my lottery, same thing. And so I'm, I'm very disappointed, you know. I mean, you would think that this community would prefer to have people like me that brings community together here. So you're getting fined five hundred dollars a day. Mm -hmm. So I understand that someone, a mutual friend of yours and mine, 
uh, came in yesterday and gave you 2,500 bucks to pay for a week's worth of you staying open so you can, because we haven't even talked about you have employees that you are, that are depending on you as well. Mm-hmm. Yes, yesterday Auto Body came in and I don't even know this man. Oh, you don't know Byron? I don't even know him. And he said to me, which is so true, it's such a trickle down. I mean, if you're not here, sooner or later, I'm not going to be here because if you lose your job, who's going to come? Who's going to have money to come and bring their their car to me? So I, it is a trickle down. I mean, these people that think that it's just going to go away, wrong. It's not going to go away. You know, it's just they're just going to keep closing businesses after businesses. And what do you say to the people who are coming on, like they come on my page and they're saying, by you people doing this, you're just prolonging it and making us have to suffer longer. I don't believe that's true. Um, We are doing all the same things that Walmart and everybody else is doing. So I'm not buying into that at all. I I just find that really hard to believe. And I know that the people that are saying that, they're also shopping at Walmart. They're also shopping at the big box stores. So give me a break. What's the difference between going into Walmart and these big box stores and walking into my restaurant and sitting six feet apart? Is that the inconsistency that drives you crazy? Yes, it does. I mean, if this is as bad as they say it is, why... My God, why are any of us open? Why are we not hiding in our homes and like little children under a blanket? Do you think sometimes too, Trudy, that what I notice is that um, it is we talk a lot about the people that are attested and, and the positive results of the test. We talk a lot about the people who have died and that's tragic. We rarely talk about all the people that recover. And that's just it. Uh, what is it? A 99.4% of people, they they do well with it. Uh, not do well, but they recuperate. I don't know. This was a hard choice for you because I remember you were sending me emails going, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I mean, it was hard. It is a hard choice. I'm, I'm putting everything on the line. I mean, I have worked tirelessly for eight years trying to build this business. You know, and people love it here. So, yeah, I'm upset and I'm discouraged that they would want to shut a place like mine down. So to the people who who judge, you say what? There's always going to be somebody that's going to judge, you know. Is it none of your bit? My new motto is, Trudy, and I, I give this to you. It is none of my business what other people think of me. Well, yeah, I mean, it's true because there's always going to be the naysayer. There's always going to be the person that says, this is what you're doing. You know, you don't walk in my shoes. You don't, you don't have to meet a payroll probably. So, you know, until you walk a day in my shoes, you have no idea about my life. And I don't have any idea about your life. So, you know, I, all I want to do, you know, it seems like it's a sin to go to work. And I'm thinking, when did that become a sin? All right. You got stuff to do. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Trudy. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having the guts. So what, you want to talk to me? So what do you, what do you, you're here for what? I've been a long fan of Trudy's. Um, I've volunteered my time to be with Trudy. Um, she helped me get through a lot of things I wanted to to accomplish and I've always enjoyed her food and her company and um, just she always makes people feel at home when they come here. So there's a lot of people calling her on her page and writing some pretty nasty stuff about her doing this. What do you say to them? Um, I guess if people, you know, feel like they don't want to participate in or seating six feet apart or they don't want to be inside somewhere, I know right now it's the mandate, um, but they just, they can always choose to go somewhere else or not come. Um, I think those people that do choose to come, it should be their choice. And she's very safe. Everybody, um, 
I mean, I'm not wearing a mask because I'm talking, but um, uh, people are choosing to be safe too. And six feet apart, everybody's very sanitary here. And I just, I think it's okay that she does it as long as she's following protocol. All right. Thank you. All right, you guys. So there you go. Now, also, the uh, Springfield Chamber greeters are having a little uh, drive-by here where you come in and... Uh, they're bringing baskets in to be given out to uh, families in need during the holiday season. So they're doing that outside the front here where everything is going on. And um, again, we're at Along Came Tree and she is uh, a woman in Springfield who has a restaurant and an event space. And she is going against the governor's, governor's mandate and she has opened up her business and she is being fined. She had her liquor license yanked from the OLCC and she is being fined $500 a day for staying open. Um, and yesterday, a uh, local businessman came in and gave her $2,500 to keep her open for a week to pay the fines. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, you can have your opinion and that's fine. Um, again, my sponsor for this show, our sponsor is Chris Dental um, Family Dentist Clinic in Eugene. And uh, they are sponsoring our show today. And uh, right now, because I got to get a message out about them, um, if you go into Chris Dental, they will do for 98 bucks. If you're a new patient, they'll give you your x-rays and a cleaning for 98 bucks. And... There is also, um, they'll give you a, a professional brightening kit for your teeth. So there you go. That's the commercial part of it. But we want to thank all of our people for um, our sponsors. And uh, feel free to disagree with what's going on here. That's where we live in a country where we can. Um, but also, uh, you know, um, this is what it is. So tonight, um, so I'm going to turn this around. So tonight at, um, I'm gonna take this off because there's nobody around me. Tonight at 4.30, we're gonna have a real special show brought to you by the Buck Stops Here. It's called the Buck Stops Here, Buck Sanitary Service. Um, have a doctor who's part of a group of doctors. Uh, some of them are also infectious disease doctors. And they uh, do not agree with the current way that we are handling with the lockdowns. And uh, he is in Stanford. University, and he is going to be talking with us live on our Get Real with Rick Dancer page. Um, I would ask that you guys would um, pay that forward and share it because yesterday Facebook shut me down. I was doing a story on COVID testing, which is totally legit, and uh, they said I violated the community standards, and so they won't let me share on other groups. I can share on my pages, but I'm going to count on you guys to share the message, even this. If you like this, please share it on other pages, on your page, because I am not allowed to by the Facebook gods. Um, we, <laughs> yeah, talk about censorship. And it was, a totally, it was a totally positive story about COVID testing and how you can get it done. And uh, with any time, lab tests now, and they pulled it. Um, or they, I, I could still, I could still do my job, but I can't share it on a lot of the pages that aren't mine. And fortunately I have a ton of pages and actually we're getting as many hits on it as we probably would have anyway, but, uh, it's a little frustrating. So anyway, um, I'm Rick Dancer. And again, I want to thank Michael Bratlin and his crew over at Chris Dental Family Dentist Clinic. Um, and again, 98 bucks, new patients, you can get x-rays done and, and the super COVID friendly. I mean, they have these machines that suck the, anything that comes out of your mouth in the air right out of it and they after every person comes in they fog the room uh, to make sure that it's clean because they're all about sanitation so if you like our content um, please uh, follow and uh, and uh, check out if you're looking for a dentist check out our people because that's how we keep going um, so again um, you don't like it that's your I, voice your opinion but please do it in kindness and um, if you don't agree uh, that's fine you can let your opinion be heard, um, but don't be mean. Um, remember, we're trying to be a community of kindness, and I find it really funny. A lot of the people preaching kindness are pretty damn rude. So um, we all have our right to our opinion, and I do too. So that's how it works. All right, I'm Rick Dancer. We'll talk with you later. I'll see you at 4.30 tonight. Um, it's going to be a big show. 
All right, see you later.